Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is the Let's Play on the Bjarke Record. So today we're going to go and sell some milk if we can get this started. We just need to back it up a little bit because we had a ton of milk. Uh, we had... Uh, oh, sorry. I don't have the right implement. Correctly, so R. No. No. Milk. We had 49,000 liters, so that's a lot of milk. This holds 28,000 liters, I believe, so we need to fill this up with a little bit, a few times. So, two, two times, I guess. Ah, two times. It won't be full the second time, but it will be... See, 21,000 liters. So we just want to go and sell our milk, which we got from our beautiful Holsteins. Oh, I did forget to check how many we have. 122, and we they reproduce at a rate of 1 every 10 hours, so next in an hour 15, so that's good. They keep reproducing, and we keep getting more milk. We can also go sell them, but they, they don't yield this money. There's like a thousand each. 950, I think it is, and that's not a lot of money. If we had a lot of beef cows or something, uh, that would be. Um, uh, I think that we we would make more money from that, um, basically. Oh, don't fall over. Sorry. I forgot about the tipping danger, which this tr uh, truck seems to have. I fall over, fell over so many times with this truck. It's ridiculous. Uh, but, no. Uh, we'll slow down here for the turn. Actually, I think I spread. I think I spread. I spread lime on this field, and it seems to be. It seems to have disappeared. Okay, so that. Okay, that's good. I guess. We do need to spread uh, a level uh, one level of uh, fertilizer on the grass fields to get them up to the maximum amount they can have. So. Milk. Let's unload some milk. Then we're gonna need. I need to go with 8400 and fill that with slurry if we can find it. Here we go. So we're doing number one field, which was, was the last thing we did on the last episode, if you rem remember. Forty-two thousand. That's a lot of quite. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I think I got like last time I sold milk, I got like thirty-three. So that's more. That's almost ten thousand more. How much is milk today? Let me check the price here. The milk is here, so fifteen hundred. That's pretty awesome. So that's also one thing to check out, I guess, which I didn't check out this time. But one thing to we can check out is when the milk is at a good price to sell. So 1500 that's a good price. That's one of the things I find hard on, if on this map is to figuring out how, uh, at what, sh what point is, what is a good price, basically. So 1500 seems to, I mean, compared to the 33,000 we got last time I sold something, and this, uh, then I'm guessing 3300 is a good one, good price. Okay, so where's my truck here? So I will actually make quite a lot of money more this time I sell milk than last time I sold milk, even though I won't have two complete trailers full. Um, 
I guess I was I just lucked out. Sorry, <laughs> that's the truth of it. I just lucked out, and um, I didn't check the prices. I just went to sell milk because we had some milk to sell, and we got a good deal, which is awesome, right? So we'll end up above uh, three hundred thousand in the bank, which is also pretty awesome. And I don't have much things to buy, so. Uh, I guess next thing we could buy is a field. And the thing is, we if we look, I'm just going to show you. If we look here at the horses when they saves. Oh, sorry, it takes forever. No. If you look here at the horses, they are almost 50%, so they. That's really good. Um, so we. Tomorrow in the game we'll go and sell the horses, which will bring us in so much money we'll be swimming in it. We might use this to like set up another farm somewhere. But then again, I mean, it looks like oh, it's an easy peasy thing to get money on this map, but it isn't. I've been working. I'm up to when I started this game today. I had 245 hours on this map. And it's actually more, so it's probably like 246 hours now. Uh, so th I've been working a lot on this map to get where I am. So um, I, even though it, having three horses and a horse helper installed does, so it's a bit like cheating though. But still, I it has really it it's taken its time to do this. I'm just saying that. Um, it definitely has taken its time to do this and we have so much equipment I don't know we can be cool to know how much your equipment is worth but I mean this is millions of euros I think in equipment and farms and horses and cows and everything um, so I definitely think we oh this is there's a lot of lot of money in here Hello, little slurry spreader. I haven't done any forestry on this map. I could because I own the forest over there, but I haven't. I don't know if I want to either, but I could, I guess. But I don't need it for the money, though. So we'll see how we'll do, what we'll do, and how we'll do it. Poor little 8400 tractor has, has put a lot of hours in, though. A lot of hours. I did sell off the bales, uh, the silage bales I did in a, f a few episodes back. I uh, got quite a lot of money for it, so that was a good deal. don't remember exact exactly how much money I got, but it was, it was a fair amount. So silage bales was a good thing, and you make quite a lot of money from those even on this map. So that's all always good. I guess I could buy some fields if I get some more money. Or I could just save the money. I, I never had like a huge amount of money in the bank which I made on a map and just saved it. So maybe that's what I should do. I'm gonna wait a bit too so I'm not gonna go and uh, do the next I don't need a lot of straw, I don't need uh, to do the fields. Uh, I'm gonna pretend it's sort of like winter time or something, spring, winter. So I'll do the, the groundwork, spreading fertilizer and, and slurry and that sort of stuff on the, on the fields, but then I, w I won't plant them for a few in-day games because I want to do some more cows and milk stuff. And uh, I am gonna focus on that a little bit here in the next few episodes I think so ooh, we got like 30 grand or oh, 32 grand 
Right, that was pretty good. Go 33, 33, 32. We had like 291, right? Uh, I think we I think we had 291, so we did nice good deal. Good good deal actually. And the 8400 needs to be refilled again. Oops. Uh, we also need to put our um, grass bales and turn them into silage on our number 5 field. Then we need to spread some lime on that field. I well, could back this up with Oh, yeah, I can probably back it up with it. These rear view mirrors are actually pretty good. So let's tab out into our... I like the fact it gets l so much lime on it. I think this is, this looks so cool. Hello, limed little tractor. And it goes here and gets slurry, slurry on the wheels instead. But not a lot, though. A little bit. Tire dirt mod is really cool. I think we'll get... Good two fields out of the slurry we had here. I don't think we can get more than that. I think no, I don't think we get more than because there's still the 48. But it goes, you use it up quite fast, so you can get a ton of it. I like the Samsons. They're really cool. If you, I, I used to have a, a kid place at a play, uh, at a place uh, outside uh, the town of Sala in Sweden. Oh, where were we? No, oh, we were on the other side. Sorry. Um. Uh, so I used to have a kid place there and he so I need to go visit him quite often because he was al always up to stuff and do, did stuff so um, So but uh, usually when I get went there I uh, you went by a place called Hebe and they have a lot of that's a rural farming area and so That was kind of cool because I usually I, I managed to go there a few times when I met the farmers going out slurry spreading, so they had this really gigantic big Samsung slurry spreader, which was kind of cool. Okay, let's go to our. Where is it? There it is here. This one. Our pulse. So the reason why we're getting this is we're gonna go and get the silage bales done over here so that's what I'm going get this it finished So we got this placed quite at the edge here, so we won't mess things up. Let's just get the engine going. So um, I'm just going to put this in a pretty long straight line.
this in here. And, uh, so I did, did I did an episode of this, which was one of those episodes where it had really bad um, graphics. Sorry about that. So hopefully this is the better graphics settings. So we, you have a better episode. Don't fall over. Fall out. go if you there's a small thing that goes back as I say show I think it's gone. so like thing you if you put this in front of that one it pull it's the thing that pulls it into the machine so you want to wait until that's basically in its forward or backward position or come if you depend on what you call it I did remove the this turning of the uh, twist handle thing on this and the reason why I did that is I was messing it up every time it was too sensitive so I did remove it and that meant a great improvement it was much easier to use this I didn't really use the twist function too much when working uh, well a little bit but not that much, so there was really no real point in having it, I felt. So now it goes forward there, as you can see the little red thingy. Ah, nah, damn it. It's one way of doing it, but it's not very correct. tasks do but it's a very important one if you want to have cows like I do um, it's a lot of work but I was going off to the side there maybe we should after these I will probably stay straighten it up again If I were true to life, I would do one at a time, of course. Oh, I nearly hit that one. way off. It's going really off to the side there. So, um, but I nudge it somehow probably. So I unload this and I'm gonna straighten it out. Straighten it out. at a time so we'll do the, the right one first from this angle from this side or left one from the other one other side of course I really like this pause telehandler is it's a really good one I 
use is 10 hours and it's not like 10 hours of, of course play because I mean track is sometimes it's a lot of course play where you don't actually drive them for the, the amount of hours they have on them but this is this is 10 hours of driving this thing using it in the game not driving it around you use mostly 10 hours of this which I, g I guess is kind of It's like a good thing, I think, if you, if I ever wanted another career, doing this sort of stuff. An 8400 needs to be refilled. I'm gonna do it later. backed up more there. Doesn't have a big swing backwards so it won't hit stuff if you go turn around and go forward like I just did there. Which I think is pretty good. gonna fall out of there but it didn't that's good so almost done with this and then we'll do the last bit last last load I actually got three loads of this field it was exactly three loads so that was kind of cool that might have been have something to do with how much I had in the baler of course when I got started the uh, wool run it's, it wasn't it's not I always sure you would get that sort of amount I, pr I probably could have 15 too I don't think I would get 17 though but I think I could get 15 not 15 uh, 14 times whatever 3 is 42 right if my calculus is right so we'll go here and we'll unload this wrapper <laughs> a very crooked line. Okay. Uh, next load in here. So you see, um, I'm really curious how many minutes it takes to record one of these, or how how, it, how long it takes to do one of these. Fourteen bales uh, rows. I had a rear view, a rear looking thingy. So that would make it so much easier. I don't know why it gets so small. I don't know if it maybe it does shrink when you wrap it. Seems awfully lot sh shrinking going on. Or squeezing, maybe. Let's see. I want to see here. Now it out. We can go. So 
so it's going pretty fast. I mean, it's up to two minutes, and we're we're getting there quite fast. Only a few bales left. So I, I know I'm cheating by using two bales, but still. Still pretty fast. If I do it one and bail, I guess it would be twice as slow. Would take at least maybe more than twice the time compared to this. Or nothing, I don't know. bit here so we can see curious how to see I'm up to three minutes and the last bit here we're up to four minutes so I'm thinking if we count like five minutes before a uh, stack that's pretty I think that's the way it is and so four minutes that's pretty good five minutes sorry for a stack This one hooked up. Go. We go park it in the shed, and that's this episode. Um, that's good, right? And the next episode, we'll fast forward a bit and we'll do horses. I think we'll go sell the horses. It's really easy to do this with this one, but it's sort of also <laughs> it's too easy because you sometimes go like, oh, where should I go? Okay, so we'll put this down here, I think. Uh, zero degrees and there you go. Yay! Okay. Um. Anyway, this has been a let's play on the Direct Talk Code. I'm Andy, and if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.